You're amazing. Oh, stop. No, okay, shut up. And let me compliment you for a second. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so glad that you're doing this. Thank you. My beautiful sapphics, this is a part two to my previous video. So, if you are interested in watching part one, I will leave the link in the description below. First things first, Shira almost giving herself a heart attack working out while reflecting on her super hot date with Hannah is sexy as fuck. Hey. Hi. Your mom really knows how to throw a razor. Yeah, if only she knew how to clean up after one. Did you forget something? Uh, yeah, I did. But what really does feel exciting is that in a genre where we usually just get one isolated storyline involving queer women, this time we get two. And they are completely different from each other. I liked you for a while, actually. Seriously? Yeah, I Ever since you moved here, I was like, that girl. Well, you just sort of observed everyone? I don't know, I just... just wanted to talk to you right away. And sure, that is a low bar to clear, but this was enough to keep me binge-watching the series. I, uh... I really like you, too. I really didn't... The representation is sweet and refreshing in both couples and the fact that this is a sapphic relationship is never treated as a concern. And I really love that. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm going to school. Right. That's good. <laughs> you good? Yeah, of course, of course. Why, why wouldn't I be? I'll see you at the basketball pancake thing. <sighs> basketball pancake thing, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I will, I'll meet you there. Yeah. For those they don't know yet, this is the new TV series from Amazon Prime called Harlan Covert Shelter, a high school drama meets thriller with two beautiful and promising sapphic relationships. Shira nearly chokes on her pancakes when she sees Hannah approaching. Turns out the two were on the same basketball team together as kids. Shira, uh, maybe you have a few words of advice for our team about your time here as a camel. Oh, it's completely unnecessary. Come on, speech! Come on, Shira! Come on up here and show them how it's done. Come on! Woo! Shira gives an embarrassingly poor speech but stains to reminisce about past memories. You will win some, and you will lose some. But in the end, none of that stuff matters. It's the connections that you will make with one another. That's the stuff that lasts. We get flashbacks from prom night where they almost kiss, implying that something more has happened. And here comes the last song of the night. Well, since your date got swiped by whiskey and mine didn't make it past the parking lot. May I have the stats? Of course, <laughs> madam. This way, right this way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, seeing a mature, sapphic couple over 40 on screen is so uncommon and rare. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you doing later? Um, just, just some work. Mm, that sounds fun. Well, I have an alternate proposal. Okay. Just some ice cream with me at the Hoboken waterfronts. It's a lovely day. I, I don't, I don't know, Hannah. I don't think that's such a good idea. Shira is constantly daydreaming about her kiss with Hannah. She can't even be in the same room or look at Hannah without getting nervous. And it is rather adorable. What do you mean? 
What, what do you mean, what do I mean? It's ice cream. Yeah, but after last night, you're married with a family. Yeah, well, I mean, that was, I got that out of my system. It's one and done. I just want to be your friend, please. I missed you. Hannah asks Shira out for an ice cream and is the cutest thing ever. Okay, don't make up your mind right now. Just think about it. I'm going to be there at 4 o'clock. Maybe you show up, maybe you don't. If you like happiness, I'll see you there. If not, you decide. Up to you. They started something in high school before Shira left town all of those years ago. I was really mad at you for a while, though. Now you're here, and it's hard to stay mad at you now, so. You know, I've uh, I really missed you. I missed you, too. And the awkward tension between them was because Hannah thought that Shira had run away because she didn't want to be with her rather than just telling her. I suppose you told me they didn't want to be with me instead of fleeing across the country. I mean, good girl, I can handle it. Is that why you thought I left? Well, it is, isn't it? Am I wrong? It is a beautiful story, mainly because anything with Constant Zimmer and Missy Pyle is pure gold. I left because all I wanted was to be with you, and I had no idea what to do about it. Now you tell me. <sighs> they both portray such great and amazing characters. <laughs> I'm thinking about making this a featured dish on the menu. Take your time. <sighs> Let me know what you think. So fucking good. Oh, come on. I, I, illegally so. Are, are you fucking with me? No, not even a little bit. It's, it's amazing. The other lesbian romance in the show is between Ima and Whitney. After Ima accidentally auditions for the musical, she is cast as the fandom. Turn your face away from cold and feeling light and listen to the music of the night. And Whitney is super happy because she is in charge of the makeup. Although Emma says that she's not going to do it, it is clear that she will in order to spend more time with Whitney. Your audition was insane. You totally deserve it. Can't wait to dive into those cheekbones. I'm in charge of makeup. You have like a literal dream canvas. I mean, look at those saucer eyes. I'm excited to spend more time with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be awesome. A new episode is out every Friday and I cannot wait to see what happens next. I, I think that you're awesome. I thought so before I knew about all your UDU stuff. I think that's why I like you so much. You don't care about that shit. You have really nice skin. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.